We are getting at an absolute crucial point for Bitcoin and you absolutely need to pay attention to this video because we're going to give you the information that's going to help you understand what's going to happen next and where the market is headed for the rest of 2024 as well as into 2025. So first things first, we are finally breaking out of this seven month range. If we take a look at a Bitcoin chart, this is literally a weekly chart. Every one of these candles represents represents a week and we are finally seeing a breakthrough of this downward channel we have seen ups and downs ever since March it's done this and we are finally breaking out of this channel so this is very very good news for Bitcoin we can also see this on a day chart and we can also go on to a monthly chart and I just want to paint a picture here look at this monthly chart look at where we are we have consolidated at the previous all-time high for Bitcoin, which was reached back in 2021. And this happens time and time again. Every single bull market has done a very similar thing. And we can see this by looking at Rekt Capital's chart. So if you're not familiar with Rekt Capital, he is, you know, publishing a lot of TA on a Twitter. Absolutely free. Go ahead, give him a follow on Twitter. But taking a look at the 2016 cycle, the 2020 cycle, and the 2024 cycle, what we notice here is that we have this period of reaccumulation in and around this halving cycle. So Bitcoin halves every four years. Everybody knows that and we have it in 2016. You have this yellow circle that represents, you know, the time just before halving as well as the time just after halving. These are all monthly candles. So you have a period of consolidation here. And then what happens? We get a rip on Bitcoin. Now, fast forward to 2020, we have again another halving and we have well, yet again another period of consolidation before a massive run on Bitcoin. And last but not least, we are in 2024. We had the halving happen in April. And this has historically been the longest reaccumulation phase. So after the halving, it has now been over 185 days where Bitcoin has essentially just stayed in a range. We kind of just saw it with our, you know, seven month downward channel where Bitcoin has just been in this channel, has not broken out yet. But if history, you know, is going to repeat itself once again, well, we are likely to have another massive breakout for Bitcoin. And we're quite essentially on the verge of that breakout because we are now breaking out of this seven month downward channel. Now, on top of that, we even got some more bullish news over the day today. We have here that the SEC has approved a CBOE options trading on spot Bitcoin ETFs, which is just another medium now for people to invest in these ETFs by utilizing options trading. Now, of course, if you're not familiar with options trading, it's not going to do anything for you. But just understand that, you know, in the grand scheme of things, with all of the retail traders out there, and this is definitely bullish for TradFi, because of course, ETFs are all in the, all in the stock market, options, stock market, but this just gives another medium for people to go ahead and interact with Bitcoin ETFs. So again, this is the first bull market that we're getting, that we have these Bitcoin ETFs, we have these Ethereum spot ETFs. These are gonna be, you know, some vehicles that weren't around back in 2016, back in 2020, and this is going to be another way, even though it's not necessarily on chain, it is going to be a way that people adopt cryptocurrency. And I do believe that this is going to be one of the factors that is going to help retail traders come into crypto and, you know, go into these ETFs, but then probably go into, you know, on chain activity, get into exchanges then trickle down to the altcoins that we all love. So speaking of these ETFs, we all know that BlackRock is absolutely bullish on the future of Bitcoin. They are essentially saying that digital assets are going to be a class of its own. They're going to be assets of their own. And, you know, they're very heavy into tokenization of assets. So BlackRock continues to buy Bitcoin. And if we take a look at some stats here over the last week, they've bought over one billion dollars of Bitcoin this week which is absolutely insane. They have been one of the heavy hitters to continue buying a Bitcoin throughout this last seven months. And if we take a look at, you know, the ETFs inflows for Bitcoin ever since October 11th, we have seen an amazing amount of volume come into these ETFs. 
with over 250 million dollars coming into these etfs every single day starting from the 11th of october we have 555 million on the 14th 370 million on the 15th and you know 450 million plus over the last few days and just over the day yesterday we had around 200 million we're still waiting for blackrock's results so again it might even be higher there but this just goes to show that quite literally everyone is buying bitcoin retail institutions and you're gonna see a massive explosion and your friends are gonna start talking about you know oh should i be buying bitcoin now the bitcoin's gonna be in the news everywhere and that is where we're gonna get a breakout but right now we have the opportunity because it hasn't broken out yet altcoins you know are gonna do what they do after bitcoin breaks out but you still have time in my opinion to continue accumulating those altcoins or to just sit on the sidelines and wait for things to unfold because that's going to happen if you're already all invested in altcoins well i still believe that you know the time for alt season is coming and if you sell now you're likely going to want to fomo back in at the top and that is just not the way to do it so if you are fully invested i would just personally hold and of course look at the different trends if you still have some capital on the side I would continue dollar cost averaging. Now, another chart I wanted to share with you, it relates to the US presidential election, which is quite literally in around two and a half weeks. It's on November 5th, and we are now October 18th. So definitely, you know, this is a huge catalyst in the markets. And if we take a look at what has happened in previous election years, it is very interesting because it always coincides with Bitcoin having cycles, and it always coincides with you know the global liquidity rotation that we have every four years we have a bull market we have a bear market and the liquidity just follows this four year chart but if we take a look at what has happened in the past with us elections with the price of bitcoin well we can see that every year 2012 huge explosion after the u.s elections 2016 very similar 2020 very similar and 2024 like i said it's only about two and a half weeks away whether or not it's trump or kamala we're just gonna have to wait and see i don't want to get political but of course people are saying that trump's gonna be better for bitcoin and digital assets whether or not that's true we're gonna have to wait and see whether or not Kamala, you know, is more bearish, I do think, you know, I would agree with that. But ultimately, I still believe that the U.S. elections, just historically looking at it, has been a beneficial factor for Bitcoin and the stock market. As we have seen, you know, the S&P 500, it's up about 15 to 18 percent, I think, this year as it is an election year. So I still believe we're going to have another pump into this election and towards the end of 2024 as Q4 is going to close an amazing year for crypto as it has in every single bull cycle. So if we zoom in on some of these narratives that have just been absolutely killing it over the last month, we can go on Artemis Terminal. This is completely free. You can have a look at this one. It's the index benchmark and we can see, you know, you have your AI, you have your meme, you have DeFi, you also have the S&P, the Bitcoin and Ethereum. And as we can take a look here over the last little while, we have meme coins just completely outperforming as well as AI tokens. These two narratives have been the talk of the town over the last month because they are the ones that are just going absolutely crazy. Now, I do want to emphasize this. Yes, we're seeing meme coins do very well, partly because, you know, Bitcoin is kind of still not doing too much. It hasn't broken out yet and people do tend to get bored. So they, you know, want to get into meme coins, want to make money on the side as they wait for the bigger move. And AI tokens have done phenomenally well as we are in an AI boom, not only in crypto, but in the entire world. So obviously, those two narratives are going to do very well. But what I want to emphasize here is that if you are in gaming plays like I am, if you're in RWA plays or deep in plays, I still believe that those narratives are going to do very well. But as you guys know, and as I've said time and time again, every narrative runs as its own. And sometimes some are laggers and some are leaders. So I wouldn't panic too much because I'm heavily invested in gaming. 
and I do think we're going to get another gaming run. I also believe that RWA is going to take off with the help of BlackRock and Deepin. You know, I do think that that sector in itself with the combination of AI and even more, I still think that Deepin is a sector that you want to have exposure to. Maybe not a huge amount. Maybe you want to focus more on AI tokens but I still believe that it should be in your portfolio. So last but not least, as you guys all know, we did reach a new all-time high on Bitcoin prior to having this year. That happened back in March of 2024, which was, you know, people saying that this was an accelerated cycle. Now we're seven months after this has happened and we're hovering the previous all-time highs of 2021. So if we take a look at this picture here from Ash Crypto, taking a look at the liquidation map, I wasn't actually able to find this one. So I'm not sure if it's true or not, but just to go along with it, if Bitcoin were to reach 72,462, we can see that there is about $33 billion worth of liquidation there, which essentially means that people are shorting at that level. And if it were to breach that level, all of these people would get liquidated and it would essentially bring a short squeeze to Bitcoin and probably propulse it up to, you know, upwards of that level. But ultimately, we're going to have to wait and see where we go for Bitcoin. But the chart in itself is looking very, very good. Going back to it here, we are looking at a monthly chart. We are breaking out of the monthly range basically a bull flag here and this could definitely push up in you know the ninety thousand dollars even upwards of a hundred thousand but that's not going to happen overnight and we still have time to accumulate your favorite altcoins whether or not those be gaming coins ai coins meme coins have a look at you know what you want to have i am definitely bullish on all of those narratives and of course if you want more information on what i am buying and selling have a look at our VIP Discord. We have a link down in the description below. We also have a free Discord where you can join a community of like-minded people. So with all of that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are right around the corner before a massive boom. And I hope you guys are ready because it's going to be interesting the next few weeks and months to come. Those are the months you're not going to want to miss in crypto. People are not talking about crypto just yet. But when Bitcoin, let's say, reaches a new all-time high, you best believe that everyone's going to be talking about it and you're going to be early because you've listened to this video and you know what to expect. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.